What's up, it's Ike, Ms. Dream 301. How are y'all feeling today? How are you going to piss the devil off today? You already know how it is. And um, the thing is, is uh, this is going to be a video on how to build inner peace and inner strength. Because a lot of people, you know, are like zombies. Like, we are literally in the world of the walking dead. And a lot of people are like chickens with their head cuts off. They're materialistic. They're very, you know, boastful for themselves, prideful of themselves. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are like, they're just... Um, jealous, you know what I'm saying, um, angry, and a lot of times it's because people don't work on themselves, they which they look at other people and see how this other person is doing it, and they want to copy, but, and, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of times that doesn't work, you know what I'm saying, it, you don't get the same type of feedback that somebody else is doing, you do your own work, and you build yourself up, and a lot of times, um, people will not know that, you know what I'm saying, like, and, and this is not their fault, that's why you have to forgive people, because, they, for they do not know what they do, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of times, people will, like, like, nowadays, people are deceived to thinking that what they had to do nowadays to get attention is good, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times it's not, um, but it is, you know what I'm saying, it's just how the world is, you know what I'm saying, and a lot of times, a lot of people are confused on how to build confidence and how to build a really inner peace, you know what I'm saying, a lot of times, when you really want peace, you're going to like seek isolation. You know what I'm saying? You're going to want to, that's number one, isolation. You know what I'm saying? To really want inner peace, you have to really learn how to be at peace with yourself, you know? And learning to be at peace with yourself is really, hold on, I have to write those down. Hold on. And like learning to be at peace with yourself is the best medicine you could ever give yourself because once you learn to really like just stop loving this world like just stop loving like caring for what everybody else feels or what everybody else thinks of you like and just do your own thing yeah you're going to get haters you're going to get people that like you that's just how the world goes you know what i'm saying just roll with it you know and you know what i'm saying that's how a lot of people you know what I'm saying people who who have made it that's what they go through people who want to achieve anything that's what they go through you know what i'm saying it's not just people you know not just you know what i'm saying us who just call ourselves chosen or whatever the fuck you know what I'm saying? It really is anybody who wants better for themselves. They're, you're going to have haters and you're going to have people that like you. It's just the way it is. But isolating and learning to love yourself, that's really how you're going to really succeed and learn to like help others succeed and really, you know, and how to see the world in a different light. You know what I'm saying? Like not really doing what everybody else is doing because everybody else is just following the crowd. When you isolate and learn to love yourself, you're not going to follow the crowd. You're going to follow what you want. You're going to do what you want to do. And you're, you are going to stick out, you know, and a lot of people are going to, you know, a lot of people are going to hate that, but it's their problem, you know what I'm saying, it's not your problem, you know what I'm saying, your, your, you know what I'm saying, your problem is usually, like, a lot of people's problem is not usually having confidence in themselves, that's really it, you know, and I'm here to tell y'all to have confidence in yourselves, you know what I'm saying, have confidence in yourself, huh, what's wrong with you, you know, I'm just joking, it's hard, it, 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 it takes, it takes time to build confidence, I know, and uh, number two would be, um, Number two would be uh always always um oh shit always working on yourself analyzing yourself daily you know what I'm saying um I must have failed this is bad, but uh the thing is um analyzing yourself daily like always working on yourself like if you were like on a video game how would you want to like create yourself you know like um a lot of people like a lot of people you only live once so like a lot of people like will want to sorry I'm just bugs everywhere but like a lot of people will want to like will want to do what everybody else is doing just because it gets them attention but like if you do it your own way you know what I'm saying that's how you get your own attention you know what I'm saying you don't have to do what everybody else is doing because you're going to get attention anyway doing something you know so a lot of times when you analyze yourself when you build yourself when you don't care about what everybody else is thinking you're going to get the your own attention you're not going to be called oh you look just like such and such, or you're doing what such and such is doing, or you're doing what uh, or all these other people are trying to do, you know what I'm saying, they're going to say stuff like that, but you know within yourself that you're doing your own thing, you know what I'm saying, you're analyzing yourself, you're constantly building yourself each and every day, you know what I'm saying, it's about building yourself each and every day, becoming better and better and better each and every day, you know what I'm saying, when you do something like, if you say if you're writing a book, you know what I'm saying, if you write one page one day, then the next day you need to write two pages, you know? That's how it goes. Or, you know what I'm saying, or just challenge yourself and write a dozen, you know, and then write a dozen more, you know, and then the next, or whatever. 
I guess, uh, yeah, that's exactly how you do it, like Rock Lee style, you know what I'm saying? But never mind. That's a lot of stuff. Number three would be um, always believing in yourself, you know what I'm saying? Believing in yourself constantly, having the confidence within yourself, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's go, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, you can be a little kitty about it. And be like, oh, hey, you know what I'm saying? What's up? You know what I'm saying? How y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? But always have confidence within yourself to always know that you're going to become a better version of yourself, knowing that you are going to be a great version of who you want to be. You know what I'm saying? I always have that confidence. Always have, you know what I'm saying? Nah, you know what I'm saying? Maybe if I'm down, like, or if I'm, you know what I'm saying, down right now, I'm eventually going to get to that position. Like, I'm like, like yes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I was like, I remember like a couple months ago, you know what I'm saying? I didn't have this uh, object or whatever. I didn't have this um, role, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever y'all are trying to do. But now, when you build up the confidence, you're going to do things that is going to get you to that position that whatever you want, you know? That's why you have to build up confidence, more and more confidence, you know? That's why uh, a lot of times building up confidence, you also have to grant, uh, you have to really, really work on yourself. And a lot of times it does take a lot of time you know what i'm saying or you know what i'm saying it could take a little time but it does take time because you know what I'm saying? you have to figure out what you like and what you dislike you know analyzing yourself and learning what you you know what I'm saying who you are as a person that takes isolation it takes loving yourself it takes believing in yourself it takes believing in god because god you know what i'm saying you also want that that belief that you know like or to know that you know what I'm saying you are loved you know what I'm saying no matter what you're going through you know that's what the god you know what I'm saying that's the whole point you know what I'm saying? That's the whole point of why Jesus went through what he went through. So that we have somebody to talk to. That somebody like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Like, things are t looking bad. You know what I'm saying? Things look awful. You know what I'm saying? But, but God is there to tell you, like, nah, you know what I'm saying? It looks awful now. But, you know what I'm saying? You're going to be blessed later. You know, you're going to get your blessings later on. You know what I'm saying? You just have to keep going through the fire. Keep going through the pain. Keep going through the struggles. You know what I'm saying? That's how this was going to build you up. As you go on, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be like you say you're gonna be like a small little like little a small little uh person or whatever. And then God, he's gonna put you through so many tasks. As you keep walking, you're just gonna keep growing and growing and growing to that position. Like you're gonna be like, damn right at the position, but like I'm different. I'm a way better version of me now, you know? That's the whole point of going through trials and tribulations, going through ups and downs, but always having faith. Because this is the faith is what is going to keep you elevated, keep you, you know what I'm saying, going through all the pain and all the struggle. You know what I'm saying? I know life can get a little, like, painful, you know what I'm saying? But that's just how it goes. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes you're going to have to be knocked down to climb back up just to get stronger, you know what I'm saying, to be built more. You know what I'm saying? If you were building up, like, if you were working out or something, it doesn't take, like, a whole... It doesn't take like a whole like like a whole workout just to be built. You know what I'm saying? You have to work out more and more and more. You know what I'm saying? Love your ego, by the way. It was just an example. But uh you know you have to have the faith, you have to have like the courage, you know what I'm saying? Faith that our works is dead, you know what I'm saying? So and God he will lie you down in green pastures as you, you know what I'm saying, as you have faith in yourself and as you have faith in him, you know? You won't you won't worry about this world, you won't worry about what people are trying to say because you're going your own pace. And God, he's going to set your pace. You know what I'm saying? Always just have faith throughout your pace, you know? And number four would be uh, more thinking more positively. Uh, th uh, well, thinking more positively mentally and doing things more positively physically. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people will think of, like, um, just because they pray at night and uh, a lot of things, which is good. You know what I'm saying? Always pray. Always pray. But, like, if you're not also doing the physical work, like maybe fasting or uh, yeah, I mean, maybe fasting, um working out dieting uh uh not eating like a lot of meat all the time because like uh or pork or whatever and doing all those things that are that could uh hurt your body or corrupt your body and put demons in your body because a lot of food can you know what I'm saying uh bring demons a lot of bad ways of living can bring demons you know what I'm saying the demons can come in any bad way of living you know what I'm saying and that's just how the world is is the world is just full of demons you know but it's up to us you know what I'm saying to always constantly work on ourselves and cleanse ourselves of these demons, you know? And no, we are not perfect. So don't think that, you know what I'm saying, we're just going to be perfect beings and be able to do all this, you know? No, we, it just takes time. It just takes building, you know? And um, building yourself up emotionally also, having a positive self, having positively emotionally, you know? Always having positive ways of going towards people, always um, having positive ways of thinking towards people. You know what I'm saying? Being uh, careful, though, but you know what I'm saying? Always being positive, you know? 
always having a positive mindset. That's how you grow, you know what I'm saying? Uh, that's how you actually look better, you know what I'm saying? Having a positive lifestyle. You look how you uh, per- you give your, like, um, you look how you perceive yourself. So if you're just a, a, a hateful, nasty person, that's how you're going to look. You know what I'm saying? If you're a good person who wants to help people, then you're going to look like a good person, you know? And well, sometimes it could be different, you know what I'm saying? There are demons out there that look, you know what I'm saying, that look good and they can be charming and they can charm you. So be careful. You know what I'm saying? Learn about these narcissists and how they move. And uh, number uh, number five would be uh, letting go of bad things, the bad moments in time, and just learning learning to let go and growing through your pain. And um, and bad uh, bad moments. You know what I'm saying? I know those can be like um, really traumatizing. But you have to understand is that you know what I'm saying. If we if you go through something like if you lose somebody, you know what I'm saying. It is good to take time. And always, you know what I'm saying, go within yourself and feel the pain through waves, you know? Like, um, like if you, like, a pain is always like a wave, you know? And when you're going through the pain, feel, learn to get used to the pain. And as it comes again, you're going to be more used to it and more used to it and more used to it. Like you're strengthening your armor, you know? It's like you're strengthening your armor every, every time. You feel the wave, and you just keep, keep, you know, keep using that pain, that rage, that whatever it is that hurts you, and keeping getting uh, helping it elevate you. That's what it's meant to do. You know what I'm saying? Everything is happening uh, for you, not to you. You know what I'm saying? So, or if you're going, uh, or if something bad happens to you because of somebody else, understand that you can. You, you know what I'm saying? As long as you had good intentions, you can walk away. Which I said is one of my quotes. But also, you know what I'm saying? We are also living in the world of the walking dead. So a lot of people are like chickens with their head cuts off. You know, they're being used by demons. They don't, you know what I'm saying? They don't deny themselves. They don't pick up their cross and they do not follow Christ. So these demons are using them. They can use, you know what I'm saying? Uh, human or yeah, humans, animals, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Especially to attack people who are good, who have positive energy, who have faith. They use that to drain you and lower your vibration. So a lot of times when you're letting these bad moments lower your vibration it's really just these demons an unhealed version of yourself and these demons really just attacking you these demons are going to attack what hurts you you know what i'm saying that's why you know what i'm saying it hurts you you know what i'm saying constantly because the demons are using it to attack you like, yeah you remember this you remember that you know what i'm saying uh or the way that happened you know what i'm saying this happened uh or the way this uh or, oh yeah you remember something like that somebody laughed at you about that you know what i'm saying like this is constant attacks in your mind but you have to learn to let those go and understand that the demons use people. You know what I'm saying? They use people. And you have to let bad memory and bad situations go because, you know what I'm saying? Like it says, pray for your enemies because they do not know what they do. They don't know that they're being used by demons to hurt you or harm you, you know? A lot of times people do. And that's why you got to keep your distance from people that you don't know, that you don't really, you're not really, uh, yeah, you, that's why, you know what I'm saying? You can't just have a whole lot of friends all the time, you know? You know what I'm saying? It's not. It's cool to have friends, but you can't just be trusting everybody. You know, you constantly you have to have a get the discernment. You know, so you have to ask God for a get the discernment to know who what, what, what demons are in people, because that's the whole point of this world is to learning the spiritual battles that you're going to have to face. You know what I'm saying? Throughout the world and growing through that and becoming a better warrior for Christ. You know what I'm saying? I love y'all. I keep this dream my mouth. You know what I'm saying? I remember. Hold on. Shit, I missed it. But sorry, I love you. You got this. Huh?